Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. Today we are going to investigate the Jizan weapon stockpile. I have no idea if I said that correctly, but we're going to investigate it anyway. And to investigate that, we're first going to need some intel. The most hilarious of which is the $4 intel from Nasri. After all, he does owe us for saving his life. We also get uh, a little help on hacking the computers and a PMC run to take away some of the guards. And we also need some shock traps. I'm going to buy five, and I could have gotten away with buying ten, except that I'm stingy. But as it turns out, I don't actually use them, in a sense. You'll see. It all will become clear. Naturally, now that we've bought the shock traps, we have to equip them. And we have these explosive grenades that I'm not ever using, and this incendiary bomb that I'm not ever using. But I'll never use the incendiary bomb long before I'll never use the grenades, so I kept the grenades. And off we go, on to our mission. With Sean Darcy as our handler. Gotta love Darcy, don't ya? He's just a big happy guy. What's up, Mikey? Problems already? Just checking in. Had some questions about the mission and Alpha Protocol. Well, I guess I should feel lucky you're not within shooting distance. After the cheap shots you took on the firing range. Sounds like you're going to be my handler when I infiltrate the Asamad camp. Yeah, I got stuck hand-holding you. Hope that's not a problem. When I'm in that camp, I expect you to back me up. Your attitude and orientation? It's not going to fly. What? You think you outrank me? You're not my superior. I'll do my job, you do yours. The Asamad detention camp, where they got the weapon stockpiles? Anything you can tell me? Getting satellite imagery of the area has been hard. My contacts haven't turned up much. What's the problem with the imagery? Camp's remote, and dug into the side of a canyon. Beautiful view, but lousy for spying from above. So there's nothing else you can tell me. Guess this call was useless? Now, now, you came to the right person, don't get upset. Agents who lose their cool before they even get out of the safe house don't tend to live very long. That a threat? You're the only threat. You bring that temper of yours into the mission, there's bound to be a bigger explosion than you like. But trust me, I can help. Then let's hear it. The thing about the camp is weather. Sandstorms are hitting the area pretty hard. Which is to your advantage. How? It cuts down visibility for you and them. You need to sneak in before they know you're there. So just wait for the storm to kick up, then take them out. Alright, good to know. Oh, one other thing. They've dug in deep with a maze of tunnels beneath the camp. If they've got any weapons down there, it's gonna be a pain getting to them. Then it's your job to get me through. There's only so much I can do here, but I'll try. And if you fail, I'll have to take over and clean up your mess. Been with Alpha Protocol long? Longer than you, so yeah, long enough. There a problem? I was just curious how you managed to get this mission instead of me. But if you don't want to tell me, that's fine too. Maybe they wanted to keep you from getting killed. I read about your father. I thought I'd already cleared that up. I don't want them making career moves for me or against me because of dear old dad. You and Senator Darcy not on the best of terms? He's a big talker. I prefer making myself useful. But enough about him. He's busy selling himself for the presidential race. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. Mikey, you there? Yeah, I hear you. Come on, we can get through this. Even if we do hate each other's guts. Yeah. Sit, Rep. No radio chatter, no alarms. Looks like you did a good job of getting in under their radar. Wish our choppers could. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. Bad intel? No, sandstorms. They fuck with the satellite imagery. But they're great for someone moving in on foot. Let you get in for the kill before the bad guys know you're there. So, wait for a storm, use it as cover. That's the idea. 
Probably won't be that simple. But hey, that's why they sent you instead of me, right? Well, it seems Darcy's a little bitter about not getting to go play in the field with the other children. This, uh, opening part is really short and very simple. I'm just waiting for this guy to turn around and march past me so I can shoot him in the head. Here he comes now. Hey, buddy. You look tired. Aw, oh, there's a sand in your eyes. I can help with that. There, all better. Anyway, like I said, for all the big deal they make about the sandstorm, this is really the only section where it comes into play. It's very short and not really worth the attention it gets. I mean, you don't even need the sandstorm to uh, get through this area. Yeah, so we just climb up this post after the well, the guard, unfortunately, has already turned his back to us and is going to come back pretty quick, so I have to chill out on the ladder. Obviously, if you climb all the way up, he'll turn around and see you there. This is one of the main reasons that people love to get stealth up to five for Master Awareness. If you didn't have that arrow there telling you which way the guard is facing, you just have to climb up the ladder and hope he's not up in your grill. The kids still say that, right? Up in your grill? Anyway, he's turned around. Now it's time to give him a big friendly hug from behind. Okay, that was less a hug and more a karate chop, but it worked. There's just one more guard in here. And we're going to reach him even sneaking before he has a chance to turn around. It's uh, great how the patrols sync up like that. And yeah, sandstorms no longer play a part. At the camp, they're dug in pretty deep. Any sign of the radio tower? Yeah, it's across the canyon from me. A lot of open ground in between. Try not to get spotted. If you get trapped in there... I know. Yeah, you may have noticed that cut there. I did have one failure going through this part. I took it out because it's not really interesting or fun. In fact, I took out all the failures from this video so that I can provide you with a bonus failure video all on its own, along with this update. It's quite long. This episode is about 40 minutes long, and I only left in one failure. It could have easily broken an hour if I left it all in. But I don't think anybody would want to watch that. Especially since some of the failures do take a while to actually fail. Come on, guard. I can see you with the magic of awareness. Thank you. And you might be telling yourself, oh, it's the sandstorm that's stopping them, because look, they're all posed like that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's where their patrols end anyway. You just come up behind them. It doesn't matter whether they're shielding their eyes or just standing there. It's the same effect. Anyway, that was all the guards on the right-hand side, so let's trot on over. Hope you like looking at Mike's ass. And you gotta be careful here, because that guard has good peripheral vision. If you climb up too early, when you're not blocked by one of those pillars, he will spot you, shoot at you, etc. There are two more guards. And there's one hiccup I left in. Deal with it. I'm not going to replay this level on stealth again. <laughs> Uh, we could have left these for later, but it's a good idea to take all the guards out ahead of time. Because you will be passing through this area again. And you don't want to leave anyone active. And we have our first false door. Door that does not open. 
But anyway, we need to go up this ladder and into this shed. And that's our next objective. Found the radio tower. Now look for the generator. Should be in a building nearby. <clears throat> Limited bloodshed gives us plus 10 endurance for taking down enemies not lethally. Be it takedowns or pistol. Generator's cut. Got it. I'll signal the choppers now. Can you get to their main computer beneath the camp? I think a way just opened up. Now we have to get back down and go back across. And we run into our first glitch. These guards are supposed to run to their post and start patrolling. But instead they run to their post and stand there forever facing one direction. And unfortunately, this ladder is in the direction of that guard on the ground there, who can stare at us through the window. Once you climb about halfway down, he'll spot you, and even if you have evasion, it will not give you enough time to finish the climbing animation and get out of sight again. So that's basically a no-go. And if we had chain shot, it would be great, because we could just pop him and possibly the guard to the left of him on the other side. But we don't. And we don't have invisibility. So, we're gonna have to do it the uh, sort of foolishly brave way. It's not really brave, it's the foolishly direct way, sort of. Anyway, we have to climb back up where there is a zip line. We zip on down the line. Evasion saves us from being spotted, and we stomp on him before he gets up. And this way, we got down without being spotted, and we can sneak up on and disable these two guards. Now, it may look like you're supposed to go up from here and go around, but he's actually facing right where he stopped at these stairs, so you can't go that way. You have to crawl around over here, and take the same stairs he did.